Assalamu alaikum. Today we will be studying about fixed partial ratio. So this is going to be an overview on fixed partial ratio. I have also a video on Hindi. So if you want to watch that video, the same video in Hindi, you can just check the description box below and you can just go to that video. So whenever a patient comes to you and he has some of his teeth missing, as a dentist, we are left with some options. Either we can give him removable denture, that means he can remove it, or we can give him something which is fixed, means the patient cannot remove it. Alright, so that is called as the fixed partial denture. Partial because only few teeth are missing. So what we do in that case, we take support from the surrounding teeth and we prepare the tooth. So tooth preparation is basically we cut the external portion of the tooth in such a way that it can stabilize the fixed partial denture. So we get something like this and then we make an FPD and then we put on the teeth like this. So this FPD it has certain parts. This thing which is in the middle that means it is replacing the teeth which was lost. So this is the artificial tooth which we are replacing. This is the ponte and then we have some cap sort of thing on the abutment teeth and that is called as the retainer. Retainer because it is helping in retaining the FPD. So this is also a retainer. And then the pontic and the retainer, they are joined by something called connectors. Now indications means when do we give FPD or when do we prefer FPD over RPD. So when you have short edentulous spaces, then we give FPD because the abutment will be able to handle that load. And when the abutment teeth are healthy, obviously you can give. In TMJ disorders, we can give because it will help in harmonizing the occlusion. It is also given to stabilize the dentition. And if the patient is willing to have it, then you obviously have to give it. When removable denture is not indicated due to some reasons. Now Pontic. So Pontic is the artificial replacement tooth. So this in the center which has been circled that is the pontic. So it has been classified into three types 3M basically mucosal contact, material used and based on the method of fabrication. Based on the mucosal contact it is of four types. So if I draw a ridge here and this is the pontic above it. So this is the ridge lap or saddle pontic because it's covering the entire ridge. And one is the modified ridge lap means it is contacting the ridge on one side only. They are generally given in anterior teeth where aesthetic requirements are very high. Ovate pontic because it is confined within the ridge only given in fresh extraction sockets. And then we have the conical pontic which is just making one point contact with the ridge. They are indicated in knife edged posterior ridges or molar teeth. Without mucosal contact is of two types. Sanitary which is the hygienic pontic or the modified sanitary which is the peril pontic or arc shape. Sanitary pontic makes no contact with the residual ridge. Hence there is minimal chances of inflammation. Occlusion gingival thickness of the pontic should be greater than 3 mm and there should be adequate space under it to facilitate cleaning. Modified sanitary pontic is an alternative design in which there is mesodistal concavity. So the under surface is convex so it provides added strength to the connectors and at the same time allows space for easier cleansing. So we have both the advantages. Based on the material, we have five types of Pontic, all metal Pontic, all ceramic Pontic, metal ceramic Pontic, metal with resin facing Pontic and fiber reinforced composite Pontic. 
retainers are classified into three types as well based on the coverage material and retention so it is cmr coverage material and retention so based on the coverage we have three types complete coverage or full veneer retainer then we have the partial coverage or partial veneer retainer and then we have the conservative retainers which are basically given in the anterior teeth because they cannot take more load on them based on the material we have all metal retainers metal ceramic retainers all ceramic retainers and acrylic retainers and based on retention we have extra coronal retainer means they take retention from the external surface of tooth and then we have the intra coronal retainers which obtain retention from within the coronal tooth structure for example inlays on lays and then we have the radicular retainer which obtain retention from within the root of the abutment now we'll see the difference between the complete coverage retainer and the partial coverage retainer as the name says the complete coverage retainer it surrounds the entire abutment tooth as you can see here and the partial coverage retainer it partially covers the abutment teeth as we can see here So these are termed as three fourth crown, reverse three fourth crown, four fifth crown, seven eighth crown, and so on. So in future we will be studying this in more detail. I hope you like the video. I have recently undergone a surgery, so I have problem in speaking. So my voice might sound a little low, a little airy. I don't know what to say. So please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. and check the playlist and let me know which videos you want thanks for watching allah hafiz